Welcome into Steelers Talk by Chat Sports. I'm Megan Payton. Today we are going to be previewing the Steelers versus Ravens Week 18 game. We're obviously going to talk injury updates, path to playoff, what that looks like. And of course, this could actually be Big Ben's final game of his career. I think all of us in America were watching Monday Night Football and a perfect send-off at Heinz Field for Big Ben. But this game also matters, and I think that it'll be interesting to see how the Ravens go about sending Big Ben off. If they'll do anything or not is up in the air, but this game is clearly crucial for the Steelers to win if they do want to keep their playoff chances alive. We're going to talk path to playoff later on in this video, but right now Ravens are favorites in this game. Ravens are sitting 8-8, eight and eight, Steelers 8-7-1. Eight, and one. I think a lot of injury updates will factor into this game Lamar Jackson we're going to touch on him later today Steelers are getting a little bit healthier COVID-19 issues seem to be slowing down so I do think that the Steelers have a high chance at winning this game it's very important I think this whole team is wanting this for Ben Roethlisberger we saw that last week you saw how the offensive line I mean I've got to give them so much credit and I know Thomas Mott already did a video on a recap but I just want to give credit to that offensive line because they showed up for Ben Roethlisberger last week and I'm hoping that they will do the same in week 18 versus the Ravens so of course there's a lot at stake in this week 18 game so I'm asking you guys right now let's go to the comments and predict the score for the final game of the regular season this is the pin comment for today's show so you know what to do if you get the ad break here go on down and tell me what you think Steelers week 18 game is going to look like all right, what everyone wants to know is what's going on with Lamar Jackson. So as you guys probably know, he suffered a low ankle sprain in week 14, has not played since, and he tried practicing last week, was still noticeably in pain, limping during practice, but apparently he could be practicing this week. John Harbaugh saying that there's a chance that he could play in this week 18 game. So this is a big deal. Whether or not Lamar Jackson is going to play, I think will have a lot of impact, obviously, on what happens. Now, I think that if Lamar Jackson's playing or if he's not playing, we need the Steelers defense to make a statement. This defense has been playing well between TJ Watt, Cam Hayward, Alex Highsmith. By the way, shout out to Akella Witherspoon last week. He had a great game. I honestly feel like this Steelers defense has been improving all season. In, and clearly TJ Watt has been the leading guy on this Steelers team. We're going to talk about him here in a sec, but I do have a quick question for you guys. How likely are you to recommend us to another Steelers fan? We want to know what we're doing well here at Chat Sports, what we need to improve on. So my question for you is scale this one to 10. If you would recommend us at a 10 to another Steelers fans, go ahead and put that in the comments. Or if you're saying there's some things we got to improve on, we are open to criticism. So let us know here in the comments. So as I said, TJ Watt is clearly making the Steelers' life a bit easier. Uh, he's had an incredible season, and honestly, we're going to talk about why he deserves Defensive Player of the Year, but it's without a question in my mind that TJ Watt is leading the league in all areas on the defensive side of things. But he also has another record at stake for this season. He could beat the single season sack record this year. Right now, Michael Strahan at 22 and a half. TJ Watt, 21 and a half. If he gets another sack in week 18, he will tie Michael Strahan for the all time single season sack record. He could get more and break his record. So I know Michael Strahan's probably going to be watching Sunday just to see what happens. But TJ Watt's got some motivation. Here, and this is why he deserves the Defensive Player of the Year award. I swear, guys, if he does not get this award, NFL's rigged. I'm giving up on all of these awards because he's gotten kind of screwed over, I'd say, in the past. But this year, without a question, he deserves it. 59 tackles, 20 tackles for loss, 21 and a half sacks, and four forced fumbles. I expect him to have a big game against Baltimore because not only is there a lot at stake for the Steelers team, but TJ Watt's a competitive guy. I think that he wants that single season sack record to be his. So I ask you guys this, do you think TJ Watt has it in him? Will he break the sack record? If you think so, go to the comments right now, type Y for yes, 
or type N for no. To me, he's breaking it without a question in my mind. I think TJ Watt's going to have at least two sacks in week 18. Therefore, he's going to be the number one guy. Now, if you guys are feeling confident in the Steelers, maybe you want to bet on this Steelers versus Ravens game. As I said, Ravens are favorites, so maybe you want to bet the underdog. And if you are going to bet, make sure you go check out our sponsor here at BetUS. They've got a great deal. If you go to chatsports.com slash bet, you've got to use promo code Steelers125. You're going to get a 125% deposit bonus. So you put up 100 bucks, that turns into 225 Now, guys, you have $125 of free money you can bet on anything you'd like i'm saying take the underdog bet on the steelers in this game but realistically you can bet on anything you don't even have to bet on the nfl so pick a game you like bet on it but ravens five and a half favorites i don't know i think steelers could absolutely you know cover the or not cover this beat this spread and i think that the steelers will come up on top winning this game and you know they have been dealing with some injuries right now if we look at what's ahead to week 18 the main guys we're looking at are Terrell Edmonds, Dan Moore Jr., and Trey Turner. They are all dealing with injuries right now. They are all questionable for Week 18. Terrell Edmonds dealing with that groin injury. Dan Moore Jr. dealing with an ankle injury. And by the way, as we talk about this offensive line a little bit, Dan Moore Jr., we've got to give a lot of credit for in Week 17. I hate that he is hurting with an ankle injury because he performed really well against the Browns. Going up against Miles Garrett, I've got to give – this offensive line, a lot of credit. Trey Turner dealing with the knee injuries. So we will clearly keep you guys up to date on all Steelers injuries. Some positive news for COVID-19 issues is that all of the positive guys are negative and they have activated Zach Banner, Devin Bush, Arthur Mallett, Anthony McFarlane, Joe Schobert, and Chris Wormley. Brooke Proyer took us to Twitter and told us that these guys are going to be good to go. So hopefully the Steelers can stay healthy, not have anyone else added to this list because they've got some key guys back. I think that'll be important in this week 18 game. Now, of course, it is only Wednesday, so there's going to be a lot more updates for this game. Of course, we're going to be recapping, hoping that on Sunday we are talking playoffs because the Steelers make it. But either way, you've got to make sure you are subscribed to our channel so you don't miss out on any Steelers news. You can go to YouTube.com slash Steelers TV or press that big red button. But don't jinx it. If you want the Steelers to win, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. All right, we are talking path to playoffs now. If you do not know, I'll tell you it's pretty simple. Obviously, the Steelers need to beat the Ravens in Week 18. That's a must. They also need a Colts loss to the Jaguars. So I know that's kind of difficult, but in reality, the Jaguars are actually, I think they've beaten the Colts every time since 2016. So hopefully that streak stays alive. And the last thing is they cannot have a Raiders and Chargers tie. I know that's kind of confusing. It doesn't matter if the Colts lose. It doesn't matter if the Raiders or Chargers win, but they cannot tie. And there is a little bit of a catch here because if the Colts do lose the Raiders and Chargers could actually tie and both make it into the playoffs now I don't know if I see you know those teams joining up and then just taking a knee every down until the game is over but that would not be ideal for the Steelers as you can see here Steelers sitting at eight seven and one in the others category but there is still a little bit of hope so Right now, we are all going to be Jaguar fans, and we are clearly hoping for no ties, no no Raiders versus Chargers ties, but they've got to do what they can do and beat the Ravens. That's where it starts off. But we've got to be Jaguars fans this weekend, so I don't care what you think during the regular season, what your thoughts are on Jacksonville. We are rooting for the Jaguars in Week 18, so go ahead and like this video for a Jaguars win against the Colts. Guys, you don't want to be watching this game thinking, if I would have liked this video, maybe the Jaguars would have won, so do not jinx it. Go ahead and like this video right now. Another note with this game is I know all of the hype around Big Ben last week for the Monday night game being his last game at Heinz Field, but guys, this could be Big Ben's last game of his 
career. I mentioned this earlier, whether or not the Ravens will do anything for this. I don't know. I mean, they're division rivals. Maybe you send them off. Maybe you don't. But either way, Monday night was such an important game for Big Ben. I got pretty emotional watching the game. I think everyone did in your line if you didn't. I think it was just a great send off. And it was very typical St Steelers season where it was an ugly win, but they made it happen. And so that's all that matters. I think Ben Roethlisberger probably enjoyed himself very much so. And Dale Lawley said that I think one of the most special things about that night is that my kids are old enough to remember it. Notes that his youngest is five. So that's pretty cool to have as a memory. You're looking up at your dad and you'll be able to have that for the rest of time. So I hope the Steelers can end this season well for Big Ben, whether they make the playoffs or not. It'd be nice for them to at least end with a win against the Ravens. Of course, there's going to be more to come with Steelers news. So again, if you have not, go to youtube.com slash Steelers TV. We are going to keep you updated on all things Steelers. And of course, there's going to be lots of talk, talking Ben Roethlisberger replacements coming up.